Last year, as you probably remember, Nicole Fitzsimmons was just 24 um, when she lost her life in a motorbike accident in Thailand. Her sister Kate, whom I've spoken to on a number of occasions, has since left her career to dedicate, her, dedicate herself to the foundation named in her sister's honour. Uh, now, this is a remarkable young woman in herself, uh, Kate, um, along with her family, her mum and dad, brother and uh, other family members who support her, and she's on the line right now. Good day, Kate. Good morning, Ray. How are you? All right. Now, I'm not going to embarrass you. Yes, I am. Bugger it. I will embarrass you. <laughs> You've given up your job, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I was. Um, I received a big graduate position with a marketing um, mm. global consumer goods um, company, but it uh, wasn't really for me. Life's too short if you're not enjoying something. My mm. passion lies else, elsewhere now. So. With the Nicole Fitzsimons Foundation. Now, what you do, um, you go to schools. You talk to year 11 and 12 students about travel safety. Yes. But then, because you've got to eat, you then work part-time at a gym, don't you? Yes, yes, it's a balancing act, but I'm very passionate about my fitness as well. So I'm, mm. I'm, enjoying, I'm enjoying both sides of it. I get to put my marketing to use with the gym and then mm. um, invest myself in, in, in Nicole's foundation and her wonderful legacy and also, yeah, raising awareness of the dangers overseas, which is another passion of mine. How old are you? I'm, I'm 21. I was 21 on the weekend. I think two ones. You're only a baby. <laughs> and, and I've just got some emails. I talked to a young man who's travelling overseas and I've got lovely emails about him and saying, you know, Australia's in wonderful hands when we can hear from young people. Eric said, after hearing Corey, the future of Australia, safe hands, says Eric, and other people are saying it. And another one, Masood, says, this guy sounds really smart, good young fella. And he's only a 16-year-old who's doing things about the Anzacs and making sure the Anzac legend lives on. Yeah. Um, and you, in your own way, are doing exactly the same thing, Kate, and we're very appreciative. Now, the message, there's two messages I want to get out today. Sure. You want to travel to schools right across Australia, not just in New South Wales, and deliver your travel safety presentations. Um, have you had much luck in getting into the public school system as opposed to the private school system? Um, I've actually, the most success I've had is the Illawarra, Illawarra region, where mm. Nicole and Jamie lived. Um, I've, they tended to be, yeah, public schools and Catholic schools um, right. probably had my greatest success at. Uh, Sydney uh, hasn't been as easy. I've sent out a few contacts um, just with various schools, particularly around the Shire and that, um, mm. where I'm local. But a little bit more difficult, but I'm really, I'm not going to give up because I know that I have a very worthwhile message and when you have kids okay. coming up to you with tears in their eyes, you mm. know, you touch them. All right, well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Um, I'm not here for a couple of weeks, but as soon as I get back, we're going to talk to the Education Minister in New South Wales, oh, wow. Mr Pickley, OK? We're going to tell him that he needs to make sure that you get to as many Year 11 and 12 students as you possibly can. Wow. Um, be, and you do this, there's, a, there's a, a donation call for, but it's no cost to the school normally. You simply go there because you want 16, 17 and 18 year old kids to know that you know, when they embark on the next part of their life, there are dangers associated with being in other parts of the world. It's not all safe like it is in Australia. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's do that, right? Wow, that would be an amazing opportunity. Okay, then we'll make representations to the Queensland and Victorian education ministers on your behalf, and I can almost guarantee we'll get support from Mr O'Farrell and Mr Pickley. We'll work on the others. So that's, that's point one. Now, the other thing is um, you are hosting the Nicole Fitzsimons Foundation colourful ball. Yes. And that's happening at the Roundhouse at the University of New South Wales in Kensington, I think on the 13th of July. Yep, that's right. Now, what do we need to do about that? Well, uh, our ticket sales are actually going fabulously well. Mm -hmm. um, so we've sold nearly over 400 now. Um, but we've still got a few tickets left over. If people would like to come along and enjoy an evening filled with live entertainment, Erin Mullen will be our MC from Channel 9. And she's we'll a have lovely some... girl. Oh, Fantastic. She's fabulous, yeah, especially her support's been amazing. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, we'll have some great silent auction items, including one generously donated by your team to um, come and have a continuous core team experience and sit with you guys for two hours next year in YouTube GB studio. Which, well, um, it is an experience. I, I don't know whether it's a good experience, Kate, but it's an experience. <laughs> That's all yeah, I can so say. I'm, I'm sure it'll be very popular there on the night. And then we're also excited to um, to have one of our um, young male dancers who we're helping support him achieve his dream of dancing in a New York school. He'll be performing for mm, us, right, okay. as well as um, Jonathan is a legally blind and hearing impaired paratriathlete and he's going to present with all the funds raised on the night going towards getting him 
his new bike to help him achieve his dream of um, competing in the Paralympics. In well done. Yeah. Now, is this the email address for people who wish to get tickets for this fantastic colourful ball, Saturday, July 13, at uh, the Uni of New South Wales Roundhouse? Foundation at NicoleFitzsimons.com, is that correct? Yes, that's it. If you email Foundation at Nicole Fitzsimons with the F I T Z S I 1 M O N S dot com, and you'll come back from there uh, with replies for people who wish to attend. Yes. So let's make contact. Um, probably the week of the ball. We'll get, I'll be back on the 8th, so we'll give people a reminder about it then, and then we'll organise uh, Mr Pickley to have a meeting so that we can get uh, schools, public schools, uh, Year 11 and Year 12 students um, giving your expertise about what they need to do if they're thinking of travelling the year after they leave school. Oh, thank you so much, Ray. That's just fantastic. I'm a bit speechless. So. Yeah, all right. How's Mum? Uh, she's good. She's at tennis at the moment, so she's getting it. Oh, she's getting fit. Yes. She is. I'm rubbing off on her, my influence. She's always been a good little tennis player. So, yeah, no, we're, You're we're a going. good girl. Thanks, Ray. Thank you so much. Thanks, Wendy. See you then. All the best to you. Thank you, Kate. 131873. Kate Fitzsimons.